We're going to see in a minute a video of children who didn't know how to speak English, let alone sing, two years before that. Okay? They didn't know how to pitch a note. And they are bravely singing in front of you, and so you need to sing along with them. This little light of mine. Sing, 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 start. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of of that little girl, I want you to just close your eyes. Um, everybody. And I want you to think that you're walking way away from this campus, um, and you're back in Delhi, walking on a really, really crowded street. Um, and today, for some reason, as you're walking on that street, you decide to stop and talk to a little girl. She looks about 12 years old, um, and you stop, and I want you to think about what that conversation consists of. What language do you talk to her in? Where does she go to school? What are her dreams for her future? What does her home look like? And then, very, very randomly, you decide to ask her whether she has heard of Maya Angelou. Random child you meet on the street, have you heard of Maya Angelou? And I want you to keep that answer in your mind. What would she say if you asked her, have you heard of Maya Angelou? You can open your eyes. So that, that same child um, is actually uh, from a community in Mumbai. Her name is Jyoti. Um, she entered uh, our Akanksha classroom many years ago, and she and her friends studied about the great poet Maya Angelou. And for those of you who know Maya Angelou, um, she wrote a beautiful poem called We Will Rise. And here's their version of We Will Rise. You may look down upon us because we are from the slums, but we'll rise like educated people and show the world we can do something in life. You may treat us badly, making fun of us, teasing, discriminating in groups, but we will rise in spite of the discouraging neighborhood and conservative background. We will rise like the day which comes after every night. You may brainwash us by taunting us, but instead we will learn how to fly in the sky, in the sky flying high like a bird in the freedom of the light. We will rise, we will rise, we will rise. I think a 
about that and what makes me sad is today, if you actually do go and walk down a Delhi street and you do and st stop to talk to a 12-year-old child who lives on the street and you do ask them, who is my Angelo, they will not give you that answer. So um, I'm going to take you back in time to uh, when I first started uh, my work. I was 18 and I walked into a big Mumbai slum community and I had a camera, a real camera in those days um, and this was the first child that I met. Um, and her name was Pinky. I'll never forget Pinky. I keep looking at her picture um, through all of these years because if you could see really clearly uh, the way I could have seen that day, she had these incredible eyes. They just sparkled with potential. And I remember my first thought being, what if this child gets the opportunities that she needs to meet her greatest potential? Like, who will she be? And then an almost immediate contrary thought, what if she doesn't? Right? What will she not be? And I remember asking that again and again and again over all of these years, that really it's just about giving every child in the country the opportunity to be sitting where you're sitting today. Right. Um, and the idea was just that we have everything in our country that we need to educate our kids. We're just not doing it because we're not bringing resources together. And everywhere I looked, I saw resources. I saw resources mostly in the minds and hearts of all of our children. I saw resources in young people like yourselves who, in addition to everything else in their lives, had time and energy to contribute. I saw resources in spaces, even in a crowded city like a Mumbai or a Delhi, schools after hours, offices in the evenings. And I said, let's just bring these things together. So that's really how um, I started my work. I spent many years in a classroom myself, and nothing has ever taught me more than being a teacher. Um, and so I said, if you know that this kind of change is possible, if you know that Jyoti can write that poem, how can we not provide those opportunities to every child in India? And so 17 years down the line, I sat down again with a group of people and we said, how do we start a revolution where every person in this country cares about unleashing children's potential? And especially, giving our most high quality resources to our most needy children because that's where the gaps are the biggest. And that led to um, Teach for India.